Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 8th of 2021. Well, it is titled WR32 and interstellar clouds in Carina. So what do we see here? Well, we see two different nebulae that are also a part of the Great Carina Nebula, which is a large star forming region that we see uh, down in the south. Now, in this, we're looking at three different colors. We're looking at reds, greens, and blues that are looking at the emission of three different atoms. So sulfur atoms in red, uh, hydrogen atoms in green and blue is representing the oxygen atoms. So that doesn't mean that that's the only elements there, but that's where their emission is the strongest. So we can see various different elements excited to different levels and caused to glow at various different times. So if you could actually see this nebula with your eyes, you would not see these colors. In fact, it would look very red with the emission of hydrogen if you were looking at it in true color. But this is sometimes a way to bring out more details. Now we see a couple of different things. The first to the lower left, we see the uh, very uh, it's fill the filaments that are scattered around there in kind of a semicircular path. And those are part of what we call WR32. And those are caused by a Wolf Rayet star, which is an extremely massive star. These are stars that are at the upper edge of how massive a star can actually become. And they are actually unstable and will expel a lot of material out into space. And they give us a lot of very interesting patterns around them. Now in the upper right, we see another uh, cluster of stars NGC 3324, which is in the process of clearing out a region around it. So there's a young cluster in the center there. And you can almost see an edge where material is starting to be pushed away by the strong stellar winds of those stars that have formed there. So eventually what they will do is clear out that material and it will eventually just be a cluster of stars with just a few few wisps of dust scattered around. So we're catching it at one phase in its star formation and we get to see star formation like that because it takes such a long time. We will never be able to wait around long enough for the many thousands of years that it would take for those stars to fully clear out the nebula. At this point they've cleared out a, a light a area that is about 35 light years in size. So it's not that this is a very small area. It's extremely large and takes a long time for those stellar winds to finally clear out the material. But eventually, could we come back in a hundred thousand years or so, we would see just a cluster there and the Wolf Rayet star, which forms a lot of the material down below, would be long, would be probably be long gone. So some of those stars don't live all that long of a time. And after a few hundred thousand years, they would likely not be around anymore. So here we get to see some of those structures within the Great Carina Nebula uh, that are visible. So that was our picture of the day for February the 8th of 2021. It was titled WR32 and Interstellar Clouds in Carina. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be flashes of pulsar. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.